guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation and my life. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Now this video has been filmed before Christmas and that is because I need time to edit and upload and I took the Christmas period off so that I didn't have to work while spending time with my family. Um, but because it was Christmas and we were off work, I thought it's time for me to sort out my curtains that I haven't done in absolute ages. So that is what I'm going to crack on with in today's video. Any products you use in my home is always linked on the website stickymail17.co.uk. So let's jump straight into it with starting to take down all the curtains. Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know damn well I can't replace you. Just say what? Say what you mean, don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need so once the sofa had been moved so I could get the curtains down, I kind of got distracted that the floors were absolutely disgusting underneath. So I grabbed the vacuum cleaner and just gave the house a little bit of a once over because Sabrina can't get under the sofa. So it does need to clean. And whilst I had it out, I may as well just do the rest of it. So I'm just changing the washing over and I'll crack on with that in a bit. But now I need to go upstairs and take out the take down the curtains that are all upstairs. I'm doing my office my daughter's bedroom and my bedroom and that is all the curtains that we have got we have got blinds in the house now and I have got a roller blind but that's a bit of a pain in the bum to clean um but I mainly need to do the curtains I say I quit it's song because it hurts we got play we got places we can go to figure out what we've done what we need what to do yeah I got you I got you I got you All of the curtains in the house run with the little hooks so they need to be removed before they go through the washing machine one because it can damage the machine and two you don't end up losing them as you're transporting them around the house but what i do is when i'm taking the hooks out i leave them on the side of the window um, that the curtain belongs and the curtains have like a little label on them so i know which side the curtains hang and then i also leave the curtains open so that all the hook holders uh, you know, they're on the curtain rail are in the place and then it's easier to line them up when I take all the curtain hooks out and then have to replace them. And there's no counting hooks and uh, all the other jazz that goes on with taking hooks out of curtains. So my lounge curtains and my bedroom curtains are on a track that has a pull string which opens up both sides at the same time. One, because I'm lazy and two, because both the lounge and the bedroom curtains are in an awkward position to open them up. So it's just easier to have it on a track. And ideally in a lazy person's world, which I tend to live in, um, it would be nice to have like an ALEXA to do, open the curtains. But for the sake of pulling a bit of string, I can't be that lazy, to be fair. And they're blinking expensive. Not that I've looked. Ah, 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 ah. 
Now, again, as I said, it's been a fair while since I have cleaned the curtains. That comes with the tracks as well. So whilst I've got the ladder there and everything, I'm just going to use my e cloth multi-purpose cloth and give the top of the track a bit of a dust. I do sometimes use the Flexi Edge Duster on the top here, but I'll be honest, it doesn't give as good a clean as using a wet cloth. So just a bit of continuity information for you. As you can see in this video, the Christmas decorations are still up. As I mentioned earlier, this was done before uh, Christmas happened and also before I decided to fall smack on my backside and crack my coccyx. So yeah, that is why I'm able to sit flat on my bum. But as at the time of editing this, which is now the 2nd of January, I can tell you I still can't sit flat on my bum because it hurts. Okay, so I've just obviously taken down the curtains, as you've seen, and I can tell that there is this disgusting feeling to them that it's like, um, I don't know, they're like straw and the best way I can describe it is in the kitchen, there's a good example, that greasy, um, dusty sort of texture that's just disgusting that you get like on the top of your work surfaces and oh, on the top of the cupboards. That is what my curtains feel like and I can tell you now I'm sure that it has been a year at least since I washed them. I usually wash them every six months but last year life happened. Uh, we went to Disneyland as well, Disneyland Paris and we went to South Africa and um, I'll be honest time ran away from me. So I can't honestly remember when last I washed them but they absolutely feel disgusting. So I'm going to go stick them in the machine now. I'm going to put them on an hour wash. Um, which is usually 60 degrees, but I'm going to drop that down to 30 and use some scent boosters and hopefully it will, well, I can't smell anything at the moment anyway, only because I'm full of sinus, as you can hear. Um, I think I'm getting laryngitis as well by the sounds of it. So I'm going to go put those in the washing machine now. Um, I'm going to use scent boosters, soda crystals, Kirkland Signature washing powder, and also throw some vinegar in. I don't know whether I'll put them on a spin wash a uh, rinse cycle after with vinegar because i it doesn't really matter i don't need them to be soft if you know what i mean um not like my clothes and anti-static so i will put vinegar in with the initial wash because it works as a fabric softener but for the most part i'm not going to waste the extra vinegar on an uh, extra rinse cycle so come with me and let's go do it so after checking all the labels on the curtains, they are all from the same brand, um, the, the blackout ones, which is the lounge and the office and my bedroom. They um, have to be washed at 40 degrees and so does my daughter's curtains as well. I think I got my daughter's curtains off of Amazon about two years ago. Still absolutely love them. Still in great nick, even though the cats have had a good go at them. But definitely the lounge and bedroom need to be replaced at some point. Um, but I'm not going to be doing them before probably the middle of the year anyway. Yeah, I think I might uh, change them instead of washing them. I'll get the new curtain. So I'm just sorting out the filters and swapping the laundry over that's been through the machine um, before I put all of the curtains in. I'm now putting scent boosters into the machine before I put the curtains in. And hopefully we'll get a bit of scent out of that. Um, and then I'm going to put them in. And as I say, I'm going to wash them at 40, not 30, as you will see in a minute. So I use a full scoop of soda crystals in my wash and as you can see my tub is pretty solid at the top. Um, I'm just scratching out the last bits there and I will put some more in. I'm trying to get a full scoop or as near as close as heck. Uh, so I'm just going to throw the rest of the loose stuff in there. And then some Kirkland washing powder. As you can see I use a vanish scoop for this. It makes it so much easier and I only need about a half for a decent deep clean but because it is so super concentrated then i'm going to put it on an hour wash and drop the temperature And now I'm going to throw in a load of vinegar. This is the last bit of my vinegar in here, but I want them to be a bit softer. And then 
I'm just going to let it run through its wash. I will be finishing off that vinegar, no doubt, in the next cycle. But now they're all washed, so I've brought down the next load so I can change the washing over. I am not going to tumble dry my curtains, even though technically I could, but I don't want to. I want them to air dry and hang dry. So I'm going to change the stuff out of the dryer so I can go up and fold that up as well. And then I'll throw the next load into the machine. So before I put the next load in, I need to make sure that the laundry bag in the utility room is empty because sometimes if we've just got laundry downstairs like wet socks and things, we just throw them in that bag. And when it comes to doing a fresh load, I just have to check that bag and throw it in. It saves, yes, it's lazy, but it saves having to walk up and put them into the laundry basket. It's just convenient and it saves it being dumped on the floor. So I'm grabbing the curtains, putting them in the basket, and then I'm going to have to put all those blinking hooks back in and hang them back up. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another course that we can fly with So I've just put all my towels and shower curtain and scrunchies, the, the loofah things, the sponges and all that into a boil wash into the washing machine. But I've run out of soda crystals, as you saw earlier. So I've just bashed the bag a bit and I'm just going to fill that up. It doesn't matter that they're in clumps because I'll just take a clump and put that straight in the washing machine and it will dissolve. Um, the other good thing about soda crystals is that it keeps the machine nice and clean. It's a natural stain remover and I tell you what, it works a treat and a charm it's brilliant and it makes light work of cleaning the washing machine i tell you what since i've been using soda crystals i haven't had that mold in the rubber trim on the front loader he's a bad guy. Another reason why I'm doing my curtains and you'll see in another video um, what we got up to in the new year there is a superstition that if you have a clean house in the new year you're going to have a, a better year and stuff like that I, I'm not really into superstitions but I don't walk under ladders I, if I spill the salt I still throw it over my shoulder etc etc so I'm trying to get the house clean before the new year now I would we did do a bit of cleaning over the Christmas period. I didn't film it, one, because my daughter's in the house and she's obviously helped out so much. I'm so proud of her. Um, but you'll see the after effects of what she's actually got up to and it's amazing. So I didn't film that, but I tell you what, 1st of January, we had a lovely clean house. Uh, the only thing that wasn't done, I think, was um, the floors weren't mopped, but everything else has been wiped down and cleaned up. And it's been absolutely brilliant having that amazing help over the Christmas period because we have all felt absolutely carp over the last two weeks. Even Christmas dinner was a flop because it was just... None of us had an appetite and we were just full of cold and feeling absolutely horrible. Now, I've just turned on the night lights here only because um, the room is getting a bit dark and I need to see the hooks because obviously the curtains are going up. So the room is going to get a bit dark. <laughs> Thank you. 
So once all the curtains are hung up, it's best to leave them closed so that they can air dry fully and as in the UK we've got radiators under all of our curtains that will obviously help dry them a lot quicker. It doesn't quite steam you know steam the creases out and leave them uh, crease free but it does make it dry a lot quicker. Whispers in my hair What you gonna do? So take it, kid As you can see, my little madam there is uh, trying to get her beauty sleep and mummy's disturbing her by coming into the room and doing the curtains. So just a little quick kiss and a cuddle and then I'm going to crack on and put all these hooks back in and fight my curtains because they do need to be reset on the track um, and it's just a bit of a pain trying to get if they're not reset then they won't pull all the way back and it only seems to be my bedroom that's having a problem and I don't understand why this has happened but it's yeah it needs to be done So now all my curtains are going to be up in a minute. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Thank you for all your support and I'll see you in the next one. You can head over to my Patreon. You get the videos uh, uploaded before and it is £3 to support me over there. Otherwise, you can just hit the like and subs subscribe button and support me on here for free. And I still appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Take care. See you soon. Bye.